Yes, and I'm at Sur La Table in Newport Beach, and with me is Amar Santana, and Amar is the very talented executive chef at Charlie Palmer at Bloomingdale's at South Coast Plaza. And Amar has consented to share some of his at-home cooking secrets, and he's gonna make a super fast, delicious dish and he makes it home right, Amar. So yep. tell us about the dish. Well, the dish that I'm making today is um, cheesy creamy grits um, with a four minute egg and candy bacon. Now, how could that be bad? Exactly. It just <laughs> sounds great. So let's get started. Let's do it. The first thing we're gonna start doing is uh, the creamy grits. And uh, when you do grits, um, you always wanna season the milk or uh, the stock that you're using. So we're gonna add some uh, salt. Right and some pepper. And is this whole milk that you've got here? What it's half and half. Half and half, even better. So we're just gonna take our grits. We're just gonna drizzle it in so we don't create any lumps. Little by little. Little by little. Whisking. Then we're gonna drop the heat when we start adding the cheese and a little bit of butter at the end. So we're just gonna whisk this thing for uh, about three to four minutes. And you like a wide pan rather than a saucepan to do this? Yeah. So we got this nice piece of bacon right here. Just gonna take a couple of slices. And this is slab bacon. Oh yes. And you're cutting it a little bigger than a quarter of an inch thick. Yeah, with, the thing with bacon that I like, I don't like crispy bacon. You know, you go to a restaurant and you order a side of bacon, it's like super crispy. That right. thing, you get rid of all the flavor of bacon. Yeah. I always like it, you know, a little thick, kind of like not so crispy. I'm, I'm handing it off to you for your special touch. Thank you. There you go. So you've got a preheated skillet with a little bit of oil in it. Yep, just just a little bit of oil. I know there's enough fat on the bacon. Just a little bit of oil to get it going. The bacon's getting all happy there. We're gonna sear on both sides. And look at the grits. They're really thickening up and absorbing all of the uh, half and half. The bacon has nice and caramelized yeah. on one side. So just gonna cook the other side for a minute or so. We're gonna start folding in the cheese. You got a good amount of cheese there. These are this really gonna be cheesy. It's never enough cheese. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's gonna be so good with the bacon and with the egg. We're gonna use uh, cheddar cheese, uh, jack cheese, and a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Mm. I don't know about you, but just looking at this makes me hungry. <laughs> <laughs> So you have a small kitchen at home? I have a small kitchen at home, and uh, I have a lot of stuff in the dry storage in my cabinet, but I don't have, I barely keep anything fresh. Right. But there's always eggs and bacon. Right. And, <laughs> and of course, grits and cheese. Exactly. So it's a, it's a great kind of, hmm? kind of snack or really a hearty meal. A good meal. breakfast, yeah. Right. It's and usually my Sunday breakfast. I'm just going to add a little bit of honey uh, into my bacon. And you're really adding a generous amount. It's not like a little squeeze. It's it's a good couple of teaspoons exactly. there. Exactly. There's nothing better than bacon and honey. So what you want to do after you add the honey, you want to put up the heat a little so you just kind of caramelize the honey. Right. So now the bacon is getting all happy. Yeah. Kathy's getting happy too. <laughs> a little more salt. I assume they, they need to have a generous amount of salt, just like most um, neutral grains mm -hmm. and, and like pasta or rice. They need to have a little salt to they perk do. up the flavor. Um, and you want to season at the beginning and then just kind of adjust the seasoning at the end. I have a four minute eggs. It's kind of like your poached egg. Right. We kind of, you know, you cook it in the shell. I think it's the best texture of an egg. And, and, and what are you looking for in a four minute egg? What's happening with the yolk? I want, I want the white to, to, you know, to be hard. Right. Um, for the egg yolk in the middle, I want it to be runny. Right. Yeah. So. Right. Because that's going to run over the bacon. The and bacon the, and, and the, the grits, grits and the and cheese. Mm. And I have a little secret for it. Um, basically, you take water, yeah. a good amount of salt, right. and vinegar. Ah. Yeah. I add a couple of tablespoons of vinegar into the water. That helps to peel the eggs more easily. Right. And another thing that works when you're doing eggs like this is using the freshest eggs. So yeah, we're ready to play. Oh, mama, look at that. Go ahead and put the grits down. So we're gonna take our poached egg. Right on top. Right on top. We're just gonna take our candy bacon. Right. Just cut it into small pieces and just mm. kind of sprinkle it around. That just looks incredible. 
I can just see you, you know, <laughs> in the wee hours whipping this together at, at home. And All just right. to top it off, just finish it up with a little bit of chives. Oh, that looks so good. And there you have it. Can, can I have some? Of course. All right. Make First, sure you get the egg. Oh, it's just perfect. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> mm. You're so good. Chef, thank you so much. Thank you for having oh. me. Now, how could anything be better than that? <laughs>